say no, unfortunately. What thing? Yeah, they are renovating something. Oh. <laughs> the empty apartment. Yeah. Don't fall. Don't fall. Yeah, they moved out. Yeah, but before the new people. New people. Mm -hmm. Gaya Raja Madhava Kunja Bihari Gaya Raja Madhava Kunja Bihari Gaya Raja Madhava Kunja Bihari Devin Saraswati Vyasam, 
We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 31, Text Number 23. Maitreya Avacha Iti Pavrite Narajam Anyas cha bhagavas kata Anyas cha bhagavas kata Shravaya Shravaya va Brahma lokam Shravaya va Brahma lokam Yayo Yayo vaya vaya o mani Yayo vaya va o mani Maitreya Avacha. Maitreya Avacha. Maitreya said. Maitreya said. Iti. Iti. Das. Das. Prastara. Prastara. The Prachetas. The Prachetas. Rajan. Rajan. O King. O King. Anya. Anya. Others. Others. Cha. Cha. Also, also, Bhagavata Katam, Bhagavata Katam, topics about the relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Topics of relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Shravyava, Shravyava, after instructing. After instructing Brahma Lokan to Brahma Loka to Brahma Loka Yayo Yayo went back went back Swayam Bhuva Swayam Bhuva the son of Lord Brahma the son of Lord Brahma Brahma Muni Muni the great sage the great sage translation. The great sage Maitreya continued, My dear King Vidura, Sri Narada Muni, the son of Lord Brahma, thus described all these relationships with the Supreme Personality of Godhead to the Prachetas. Although he returned, and afterwards he returned to Brahma Loka. You can repeat, the great sage Maitreya continued. The great sage my dear King Vidura, my dear King Vidura, Sri Narada Muni, Sri Narada Muni, the son of Lord Brahma, the son of Lord Brahma, thus described all these relationships, thus described all these relationships with the supreme personality of Godhead, with the supreme personality of Godhead, to the Prachetas. Afterwards, he returned to Brahma Loka. Afterwards, he returned to Brahma Loka. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. One has to hear about the Supreme Personality of Godhead from a pure devotee. The Prachetas got this opportunity from the great sage Narada, who told them of the activities of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and his devotees. Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Savakaya Chaksur Nilitam Nena Tashmai Sri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Vaivaja Patita Nam Papa Nebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha 
Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So Maitreya is speaking this verse. Maitreya is a great sage who is giving instruction to Vidura. Vidura was on pilgrimage. He had been driven out of the palace. He was the brother of Dhritarashtra, but he was driven out of the palace by the evil son of Dhritarashtra, Duryodhana. So Maitreya met with Vidura Vidura, because, but Duryodhana got, through, got him out of the palace because Vidura was telling, telling Dhritarashtra that don't listen to Duryodhana. Duryodhana's a rascal and he'll pollute your mind. He'll tell you all bad things to do bad things to the Pandavas. So Duryodhana found out and he told Vidura, get out of here before I beat you. I'll whip you and beat you to death. So Vidura left and he went on pilgrimage and he met with Maitreya. Now Maitreya had received spiritual knowledge from Parasharamuni. So he, and he, Maitreya was also present when Lord Krishna departed from the world. And he heard the final instructions of Lord Krishna, which Lord Krishna gave to Uddhav. So Maitreya was a very elevated soul and he's speaking to Vidura and he's telling Vidura about this meeting between the Prachetas and Narada Muni. Narada Muni is one of the sons of Brahma and Narada Muni is a, always preaching bhakti yoga, he's always teaching about devotional service. He can travel everywhere in space. He's an eternal spaceman and he can travel, he can even go into the spiritual world. Usually he stays up in the higher planets in the top of the universe. At the very top of the universe is Brahma Loka, right? Brahma Loka is way up at the top of the universe and Narada Muni likes to go and stay there. Brahmaloka is a place where very pious people get to go and they will stay there till the end of the life of Brahma. At the end of the life of Brahma all the universe is destro destroyed and so Lord Brahma leaves and Lord Brahma will go back to Godhead if he's a pure devotee. But he may not be a pure devotee and he may have to come back again. Not always, it's not always true that Lord Brahma is a pure devotee. However, Lord Brahma is our Adi Guru. We are in the Brahma Sampradaya. There, were the four, there are four Vaishnava Sampradayas. We know the Sri Vaishnavas, they come from the Lakshmi Sampradaya. And the Nambaka Sampradaya is from the four Kumaras. And the other sampradaya is from Lord Shiva. Yeah. Vishnu Swami. Vishnu Swami, right. So these are the four Vaishnava sampradayas. And uh, we have to. Narada Muni is in our line. Narada Muni, he is the son of Lord Brahma. And he received, he got the knowledge of Srimad Bhagavatam from his father. Narada Muni was instructed by Lord Brahma in the Srimad Bhagavatam. And so uh, Narada Muni is describing about the relationship between the Prachetas and the Supreme Personality of God. Now the Prachetas are devotees. They were the sons of a king called Prachini Barisha. And the Prachetas, they wanted to get, they wanted to become self-realized and they wanted to 
advanced and so they went, they did tapasya and they met Lord Shiva and Lord Shiva instructed them and by the grace of Lord Shiva they met with Lord Vishnu and Lord Vishnu also instructed them and after all that Narada Muni has come and Narada Muni is instructing them. Narada Muni is telling them about their relationship with the Supreme Personality of God. We all have a relationship with God, every one of us. So it's not that we're God and we never become God, right? We never become God. Some people want to become God, they think they'll become God or they think they'll merge into God or something. But we're always individual. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, you know the verse where Krishna says we are eternal individual beings? Yes, right. So Lord Krishna says we are all individual. So never was there a time when I, Krishna, did not exist, not in the future. Was ever, never was a time when I, nor you, nor all these kings. So everyone, every living entity is eternally a spirit being, a spiritual being, and we're all eternal. Of course the body is not eternal, the body is a dress. So the prachetas, they're being, they have got the opportunity to meet Narada Muni and to hear about the activities of the Personality of God. God is a person and He has activities, just like we have activities. So God is also a person, He's the Supreme Person and He has His activities. And we, just like our activities, we do our activities to enjoy. We want pleasure, you know, we do different things, what do people do? Well, they go to work, they don't always enjoy work, but they go to work, you know, because they get money and with money they will enjoy or they, at least they can live, maintain their families and live. So people want to enjoy because Krishna is the enjoyer. God, He's the supreme enjoyer. So we, we are also trying to be like God, we want to. But actually our position is not to compete with Him, our position is to be servant. We have to serve Him. This is a terrible moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we live in these buildings, you know, this is one of the problems. It's very common here, you know, when I'm doing my own practices also, there is always some noise like that. Always there. Always there. He, he was, he, he went to the ashram of the Prachetas 
and the, the ten prachetas, and they they were very happy to meet with Narada Muni, and they told Narada Muni, they said, we're very much attached to, we'll, be, we'll become bewildered by the material energy, and we need you to enlighten us how we can become self-realized. So Narada Muni had talked, he spent time with them and he, he taught them about how to become self-realized. He taught them the relationship between the Supreme Personality of Godhead and the ourselves. That He is the master and we are the servant. He is like the root and we are like leaves and branches on the tree. That is our relationship. So He is the master and we are the servant and that is eternal. But being the servant is a joyful position. There's more pleasure in being the servant than in being the master. You know, sometimes you may work in a job, if you work in a company, the man who's the, the boss, he's got all the worries. He has to worry about how to get the money, how to make the profit, how to pay the wages for everyone. It's very difficult to run a company, you know. You always have to think how to get the money to pay everything. And if there's no business, then it's the problem. So, being the master is not easy. It's more pleasure in being the servant. You, you, and in the spiritual world, to be the servant is the highest position. And that's why Krishna himself came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, because there's more pleasure to be the servant. And he wants to enjoy, Krishna wants to enjoy. He saw, Krishna saw 5,000 years ago, that the gopis were enjoying more than him. So he thought, you know, this is not fair, I want to be the enjoyer. Why the gopis are having more pleasure than me? So he decided in his life, he must come in the mood of a gopi. So he, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came in the mood of a gopi. And he, and he taught people how to cultivate this mood of the gopis, following the footsteps. So actually, this, this is a, the principle of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teaching that we should all try to be the servant of the servant of the servant. You know, don't try to be the master, just be the servant of the servant. And that you and we'll find great pleasure there. The greatest pleasure is there in being the servant. But the, when we try to become the master, we try to exploit everything and everyone, then you won't be happy, you won't be satisfied. But to be the servant, that is our natural position. So we want to cultivate that mood of service, to be the servant. In the material world, everyone thinks, I want to be the master and they're competing with each other. One country is trying to compete with another country. One community is trying to compete with another. Even in the family, different family members compete with each other. Who's the best? Who is the most exalted? So we have to understand that the spiritual world teaches us harmony and equality and friendship with all living entities. We don't need to envy or you know, be against others, but we need, need to appreciate everyone and everything. So Narada Muni taught the Prachetas the importance of humility, to be humble servants and to engage in the devotion to the Supreme Lord by hearing and chanting, shravanam and kirtan. These two things are the, the roots of the creeper of devotion. First we have to hear 
and we have to hear for a long time. Just like Prabhupada said, when he first used to go to hear Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, he said when he would go to hear his guru, he said sometimes he could not understand what he was saying because he was speaking philosophically, he was speaking high language, so it was difficult to understand. But he did not go away, he kept hearing, so that's important. Even though sometimes we may not understand, but, but we should not give up, we should not go away, we should keep hearing and keep hearing and hearing. There was, there was one Mataji, she was reading the Srimad Bhagavatam and she came to a sentence and she could not understand what it meant. So she came to see Prabhupada and she said to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, what does it mean? And Prabhupada said, read the sentence, read the sentence and she said, she read it, she said, the moon was churned from the ocean of milk. Read it again. And she said, the moon was churned from the ocean of milk. And Prabhupada said, read it again. And again she said, the moon was churned from the ocean of milk. And Prabhupada looked at her and said, now do you understand? And she said, yes Prabhupada, the moon was churned from the ocean of milk. And Prabhupada said, yes. Sometimes it's like that, you know, we, we have to hear and we have to repeat. Yeah. Of course we try to understand also what is being said, what's being done, but generally the system is like that. If you hear nicely, that makes sense. So, Prabhupada used to hear from his spiritual teacher and just like Prachetas, they heard from Narada Muni, they heard from Narada Muni, he taught them and they became self-realized by hearing from him. And Narada Muni, he heard from his father, Brahma. Brahma was the, the student of Lord Brahma. And Lord Brahma, he heard from Krishna. Tene Brahma Ridaya Adikavaye Muyantiya. Lord Krishna imparted the Vedic knowledge into the heart of Lord Brahma at the beginning of the creation. Not that's not doesn't happen all the time, but it happened. In every, in every universe there's a Brahma. Our Brahma is a small one. It's only got four heads. Other Brahmas, many heads. Sometimes hundred heads, like that. You know, they have many heads. Ours so, is Chaturmukhi uh, Brahma. Huh? Ours is four heads. Yeah, Chaturmukhi Brahma, right. So the universe is small. So he only needs four heads. That's what we have. So, uh, the fifth head was cut. What? He's saying the fifth head was cut. Oh, the fifth head. <laughs> it's a story in Indian Rome. Yeah, there is a story like that. Yeah, but there is no source. It's a Purana story. Ah, okay, sorry. Forget about it. Yeah. Prabhupada said, Narada Muni heard from Generally, we think of Brahma as having four heads. Yes. But there's one past and it said he had five heads, one got cut off. <laughs> but there are many Brahmas. Every universe has a Brahma. And according to the size of the universe, Brahma will have more heads. So Brahma, he hears, he hears directly from Krishna. Just like Arjuna, Arjuna was fortunate, he was able to hear directly from Krishna. Now we have to hear, we have to hear from someone who's a representative of Krishna. Hmm? A representative of Krishna. 
then he can tell you about Krishna. Just like if you're a rep, they have these, what's it, Amway? Do they have Amway here? Amway? Amway products, something. Toothpaste ah, and soap yes, yes. and everything. They sell everything. Yeah. Yes. So they have their representatives, you know. <laughs> yeah. They come and they, they're selling everything, you know. They're, they're selling the Amway products, yes. protein, vitamins, and all this stuff. So. Uh, yeah, it's very expensive. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. They're, so they're, anyway, they're representatives of the company. Lord Brahma is a representative of Krishna. He's telling us about Lord Krishna yeah, because he was directly instructed by Krishna. So he can tell. But we don't know how to, Lord Brahma, Lord Brahma is way up at the top, at the top of the universe. We're in, we're in the middle of the universe. How to get, so Lord Brahma taught Narada Muni. Narada Muni was a guru of Vyasa. Srila Vyasa Dev, who wrote the Vedas. So we are hearing from Srila Vyasa Dev, and Black Vyasa Dev, he heard from Narada Muni. So this is the parampara. Mm -hmm. This is the system, the simple succession. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna describes about that. Right? Evam parampara praptam. Evam. Imam Raja Rishiyo Vidhi Vidhu Vidhu Sarg Sakarve Nama Mata Nashta Yoga Nashta Parantapa Yoga Nashta Parantapa Krishna is saying this knowledge was passed through the disciplic succession to the Rajashis. Rajashi means saintly kings. The saintly king, and because they gave the knowledge, they didn't give it to just common people, they gave the knowledge to the king, kings, and then the kings will give the knowledge to the people. Mm -hmm. If the kings have the knowledge, then the people will also take the knowledge, because the kings got it, so the people will also want to have it. So that is the system of disciplic mm -hmm. succession. But in course of time, the knowledge was lost. Mm -hmm. What happens? People start to change things. Mm. They take things away, they change it. Mm. And so when they change it, then it doesn't have any value anymore. Mm. Mm. So Speculation. Yeah. So Krishna had to come again to re-establish the teaching, to give the knowledge. Mm. Because yoga nashta. Yoga nashta means the knowledge was lost. Yoga nashta. So Krishna came to re-establish it by teaching Arjuna mm -hmm. on the battlefield at Kurukshetra. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to also be careful if we hear from the wrong people because it can have a bad, a bad effect. Now, you get some people, they're also chanting Hare Krishna and they also worship Radha and Krishna, mm -hmm. but their motive is to merge, to become one with Krishna. Uh, to become Krishna, mm. to become what some people want to do like that. So the, if we hear from these kind of people, then it's not good. It said, just like milk, milk is a very good thing. But if milk is touched by the snake or a serpent, if the milk touch, is touched by the serpent, then it will have poison. Mm. Yeah. Point. So, so the same way, the knowledge, if it's coming through the wrong person, then it will have the bad effect. Mm -hmm. And so, some people, they know, they, they have that poison, they, they have that, that problem. And if you hear from them, then the knowledge will be harmful to us. So we have to be cautious about where we go and who we hear from. So association is very important to have the right association. And they say birds of a feather come together, flock together. The crows are with the crow. The swans are with the swan. So if 
we associate with the people who are like crows, we will also become like them. We have to associate with the swans in the good water, enjoy the lotus flowers in the lake, 